And a shofar like this would be used in biblical times to sound a warning, uh, maybe an approaching army. Uh, you would be warned of that with a trumpet sound like this. I know we're not alone in the universe. I know that the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. It's evidence that has been denied to the American people. It's not actually a sphere, it's an it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid, that's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby is a good way, it's like pear shaped. Pear-shaped, pear-shaped, pear-shaped. It's possible it ejected a piece of the earth from below. You can sense that something isn't right. You can feel it from thousands of distant miles. But what exactly is taking place on the frozen continent that has the rest of the world worried? We can begin with a giant crack, some 70 miles long that has developed at the South Pole. Our living Mother Earth looks like a pregnant pear because she's been pregnant. The cosmic egg. The ancients were trying to describe the Earth as a giant living being. Remember that Mother Earth is alive. Animals have a spirit. Parachute, parachute, parachute. It's possible it ejected a piece of the earth from below. Oil, petroleum, is hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Therefore, it must be derived from the, uh, the spoiling, the rotting of formerly living matter. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting at all. Only we are the enemy and we are being subdued and confused. We're being subdued because we're being dumbed down and we're far from being dumb. And we're being confused through things like the Mandela side effect. It's all being done on purpose. Sneak attack is imminent. The sheer quantity of people affected by the Mandela Effect is staggering. It could be a PSYOP. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Good morning. You overslept. Wake up. I really, really want you to wake up. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.
I'm pretty sure the Mandela side effect and parallel universes and flat earth and all of that is a psyop, just a distraction tactic. And I call it a side effect because it is. It's a side effect of the intensity of the psychological pre-warfare that's being used against us to divide and conquer us while the enemy approaches even closer. Nibiru, remember? Coming closer and closer. Hasn't been here since biblical times. What happens if uh, in biblical times people hopped on over to that other planet, went around the 3600 year cycle, and they're coming back now with a vengeance? Don't you wonder why they're coming back with a vengeance? I can tell you. But anyway, I think our government has already been infiltrated by these aliens. And a shofar like this would be used in biblical times to sound a warning. Uh, maybe an approaching army, uh, you would be warned of that with a trumpet sound like this. So this thing could be a planet-sized Leviathan. If it is, maybe it's the father and Earth is the mother, if you know what I mean. Jelly bean. Or it's just the mothership of all UFOs. <laughs> the mother of all UFOs. And uh, I do mean the mothership because uh, it could be a refueling ship, if you think about it. So it's either a living being or it's some mechanical thing and in either way it's rather powerful the Mandela effect is basically a side effect of phase two which is an advanced diversionary tactic of war phase one has already happened our five senses sound touch smell taste and sight have already been compromised Sound was compromised by the FCC in 1939 when our radio broadcast signal was switched from 432 hertz to 440 hertz. In 1945, when we began fluoridating water, the U.S. Department of Health is responsible for that. In the 1970s, the U.S. Department of Defense began chemtrailing. And then in the 2000s, we began aerosol mist inhalers. And then in the 1990s, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, also known as the FDA, Monsanto, etc., began GMO and cloned foods. That's our taste. And uh, in case you didn't know, 80% of all eyewear is controlled by one company named Luxottica. And uh, they produce everything pugs, Ray Ban sunglasses, and Ray Ban goes back to World War II in the U.S. Department of Military. So they have been not necessarily in coercion, but in business, in bed with the military for that long. So phase one was our body, the five senses. Phase two is our mind. Something's confusing the heck out of us with the Mandela effect. Phase three is our soul.
I can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Where'd you hear that? The yeah. internet. Oh, look. Here comes my date. I met him on the internet. He's a French model. Uh, bonjour. <laughs>